to fall into place right now. 11 to 4. If Paper X win this one, uh, it's more or less bind that we're going to be thinking about for EDG. His attack side has seen some elements of the Paper X aggression. This oh, time, we might get a little see? bit of a one straight up mid pushing four players around this part of the map. A is left with the wall. And they don't get caught uh, the wall. So they fall back, but it allows them to do this. They don't get caught in the wall. They don't get caught in the wall. They don't get caught in the wall. They've been able to take out at least a little bit. No, do this to Isano. Mm. I think the hesitation is is right from EDG. Oh, yeah, you. They're just going to stop. They saw so much oh, utility flying through on the other side, but can't cut it. Wow. It just hasn't so hit the same this game. Something given an opportunity to take that fight, and with your duelist, your entry, your space taker down, it's not going to get any easier. Now, the A site is open for business. But I feel like someone almost needs to be left behind to try and catch someone on the rotation. Because if you allow pay breaks to retake, I don't like those odds. Oh, 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 oh. at least going to be able to pop on before yeah. trying to back away. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. Cycle, oh, so this is a big change. Because, you know, Paper X obviously happy to play retake on A from the start of the round in a 5v5. Okay, in a 5v4, okay, okay. But then the tail like Kong, even better. But now the numbers have changed hands a little bit. The advantage no longer. Sits towards Paper X. Sus, and yeah. There's two players on the B side still yeah. with a lurk from nobody. Active in mid. This has to be huge for Devai, and he won't get anything. These last two players even oh, splitting oh, up. Oh, this could be dangerous. Oh, they don't check the close right corner, corner, which I mean, you wouldn't really think to check this late. Hey, on so, the hey, so. Hey, so. Where is that? Sus. Firmly. Nobody. Massive round. He's had some big rounds like this before, but we can't rely on that every single time, Tom. That was so good with EDG. Just taking some of that space back into mid, being able to fight the player in market, and then win a duel. I think there's two players picking him from top mid. That really shouldn't have gone their way. And he's pulled out a hero play that has given them at least a little bit of an opportunity. Alex is going to take a moment to try and talk things through with the team because even EDG just getting yeah, themselves a little yeah. bit pumped up. We've seen this team pull off miracles in the VCT before. So they want to stop this before it gets any legs whatsoever. Yeah, it's definitely time to Safety. pump those brakes, take a second look at how these coming rounds are going to go because remember the first one, it's not looking great for Paper X in terms of credits. But they're gonna have ults online soon. No, I even in this round, take them. Dubai gets your res from the shadows. They have a thrash coming in, so they better make sure that Arsenal isn't dispended oh, uh, for no reason. Uh, gonna be using it, operation. presumably, in the following round. Round number 18. Because you I'm looking to see how much they actually oh, invest into this round. Because I don't think they're going to outlaw it. Crazy. On defensive side as well, okay, it's okay. a risk. Maybe he can save it or if things go out. wrong, but really the hope here, the gamble, is that he's able to find some serious value. And as we can see, well, EDG were backing off. And it looks like they won't be coming near beam. Oh, never mind. The danger zone has been entered oh, by Chichu. Oh, no. He's going to go look for a pick. He's, he he's pushed so far up, but both have gone down immediately. Ayo. That was the thing. Either you had to get value with the operator or save it. This is the worst of both worlds, because exactly he's gone down are. with the operator. They know exactly where the players are rotating to Ayo. as well. That's whether or not... Yeah, I was about to say, I, I think EDG have been so calm in just going for these rotations, climbing space elsewhere. And Khan Khan now already going to be One stopping down. any chance of rotation. He's even going to shut the door on them. Now, what that might mean is, uh, unless it's been thrown away, they might actually be able to save the operator. He's still. It's actually a very nice it? recovery, I suppose. They carry this weapon through to the next round, and I have nothing negative to say about it. It is just the, the hey, risk you, you you can can drop of one of them picking it up. Uh, of that uh, weapon goes down uh, and just, uh, 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 decided to take B, uh, uh, you're not getting it back. It's, it's gone. But Bulldog? And an AWP carried through to the next round. This is the idea. Like I said, Devai needed one kill. He didn't get it, but he's dead now. So he's got a res to work with. Monyet might not have the From the Shadows, but I doubt that's going to ruin their plans. <laughs> so realistically, they have a lot to work with. <laughs> I, don't I don't think he's in the right place at the moment. No, he's so far away. If there's a Neon, I'd give him a chance. But uh, no one's getting yeah, the yeah, neck of the woods any time soon. Mind freak? Oh, you're in danger. Mm, you're in danger. I'm 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 in dan
Mind Freak will already Leo, get one. Just how much more can he make? It's costly. Oh! Mind Freak is just getting every single shot. And okay, Leo, he loses the gun, but even the loser. extra credits will put him in a spot where he can buy he a rifle for the next round anyway. So. Nah, they're just throwing. They're throwing, because why wouldn't they just go for it? When you've got Mind Freak on your team, 2v5, <laughs> just go for it. Just go for it. Look at this guy. It's unbelievable. Oh, yes. oh, oh, like oh, oh, he even blocked the nade! Oh, 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 the economy doesn't really matter so much for EDG. They have, they built up a lot of extra cash. How long even with 8,000 credits post buy? And if they lose two rounds, they're done anyway. So ultimately, it was worth trying to remove that extra weaponry. Something worth the operator. As you said, the alts have come on. You have to think that sooner rather than later, Paperx are going to eventually get this one over the line. Oh, 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 and again, just this slow... Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, oh. They're trying to gradually take space. They're not really giving any information over onto the Paperex side. And while something, one of the players who could find it, is just sat with his operator in hand. Single-handedly maintaining the so, yeah. on the A site, where they've been so happy to play retake before. Something's got it on lockdown, but EDG are not looking to take any risks towards that side of the map instead it's the b site that they're currently targeting now there's some utility being expanded to run that clock down 40 seconds as we're going to see oh even a deep flash thrown through they're they're really trying to stop this squad i guess send them back to a or at least make it so that they have to blitz in and with the showstopper that's not really a problem for them risky wow, okay it's man. ended up fired at a corpse and oh, 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 you oh, you oh, a oh, 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 I, I don't think he's going to go for this, but you never really know. He's just looking to escape back out of there. Now, it's interesting because, again, you, you see the knife coming through from Forsaken. That's why they start just blitzing their utility, and they knew that they were coming in that direction, but the showstopper taking the space, and then... It also seems like every time we've had an operator for the defensive side, it has not been in the right place. Both teams have managed to avoid oh, the superstar the operator player on the other side. And now I'm just looking oh, at oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, oh, so about to clear this gun for free. But he's, in, he's got spidey senses. Ooh. I don't know why he turned around, but it doesn't matter. How long's going to get the kill anyway? Another round building credits for EDG and a four-round streak on this attack side. This is starting to... I, it looked possible. Yeah, you know, a large part of why I started to lose hope is just the promise of PRX on the defensive side. But, well, the, the paper dinosaur didn't do it too well. EDG are looking fantastic. Dinosaur. Momentum's definitely on their side. <laughs> sure, the old economy is swinging towards PRX for now. now. And that is kind of all they, they need, right? Just a couple trickle-down rounds, and they're, they're good to go on map number two. But from what started out as a very dominant feeling map, a, a couple of close rounds for EDG that could have swung it a little bit more in their favor. But it, it just seemed like we were going to leave this with the idea that, oh, EDG need to wake up for map two. It looks like they've woken up for half two, at least. Yeah. This is a good sign. Oh, it's a great sign as well with different players like Haodong, Nobody, all starting to step up to the plate. And this round, we do have investment again from Paperx. It's not everything they've got. They will still have a buy for the next round, but they've got a few Bulldogs to play with. The ult's still available. And the drone, again, I think EDG are doing a fantastic job of either using Kankan Kan or Nobody to just sell a ruse. They start throwing utility, be it a boom bot, be it a drone and just get them to stick around in that position, even catching him with the knife. Okay, maybe that was an intentional. But you can look at the other side of the map. The only player there... Oh, oh, they're going to get the yeah, well. finally, that yeah, they are not well. around this position yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They nobody, and he has been a few shots in the past. It's in such a good spot, but that smoke's faded at just the wrong time. Oh, yeah, if it's stuck around a little longer, maybe he can sneak his way through. Uh, He's supporting a team, though. 
Ja,被屌打回我。我们defense守不到哎。我们defense守不到哎。我们defense守不到哎。我们defense守不到哎。我们defense守不到哎。我们defense守不到哎。我们defense守不到哎。我们defense守不到哎。我们defense守不到哎。我们def
This is where things get team. a little bit more real. You know, we talk a lot about those comebacks and how difficult it can be in general. Hey, Kang Kang Dian Dio, hey. You know, it's a big deal. Like we can go into the next map and say, guys, we didn't even play that. You know? Yeah. No one was awake. It's fine. We got the next one. When you make that comeback, when you spend all this time fighting your way back in, and then the door is closed on your face just as you get there, it, it really, really sucks. But. Hey, EDG have been there before as well. They know how to battle back from those mental positions. That won't be a real challenge now. Oh. Slow through. Wow, 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 this is Paper X telling EDG, we're going to we're gonna fight for this yeah. control over BMA in this round. Yeah, I, I think it was an adaptation that was needed. Just allowing them to have a lot of this control to lay execute has definitely been causing issues. Something. Davai. Peaking oh, deep A. Like, his oh, position oh, 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 a lot of control. But they are going to look to try and force him back. The drone again being utilized just to try and clear this position. Something just oh, has no fear though. He, he's ready for someone to try and take that risk, but it has pulled a player further forward. The is is that that this B main stack up is still here. Is it? Yeah, the second <laughs> player is not expected, of course. It's my free. Although the poisons might be off, he's still got his rifle ready to fight. And Kong Kong with another death nice on the board. He struggled in this series, but Mind Freak most oh, certainly GG, 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 GG. It's looking like this might be the minds of EDG. Chichu with another clutch that he will win. And Mind Freak on the triple. That is the first map of the game. A very promising start to this series. And Forsaken said they were a 6 out of 10. Well, we've had some shaky rounds, but they're looking more like a 7 now, at least. <laughs> yeah, they, they've got their first map on the board in a matchup that I think many believe to be competitive. Worried about the form that this team was coming in on. It's safe to say in the first half, there were no worries at all. Up to Lee Domino, it just took a little bit of time to get it over the line. I'm excited for the next map, though. Either way, Mitch, we're going to be heading off to the break, and we'll be back with map number two afterwards. Wait, that candle the lamp to me, you can't give me a long see. You young are candle. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lin. In this series, I'm going to walk you through attack on Pearl. Watch out for the stairs, clear this angle. You're going to be able to fight this. Oh, yeah, this is you're playing this game, right? I see. Rescue me, 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 Rescue Ascendant of the shell break, okay? The adrenaline, no, oh, you don't adrenaline, they run to. Red Bull for the win. Red Bull gives you wings. I'll give you wings.
，其他就没有这样给。Paper Rex, they pick up their first map win here at Masters Madrid, and I'm now joined by their coach, Coach Alex. Alex, fantastic attack. Alex, man. On that defense, it wasn't until your round 20 tack pause that your boys managed to close it out. What were run on that defense side, and what did you say to them? That's so exciting. 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 That's so <笑>很想笑，可是不，还不要笑。真的，能做，能做。啊，笑出来啊！哈哈哈！能做，能做。哇，你看那个又上下，上下，上下。哎呦，呆到哪？ By the paper X skin. I got scared. I was a little worried for a bit there, but that first half was a thing of beauty. So I will give them the flowers for that one, Kukuka. But that being said, though, EDG certainly to make it easy for them. But you could definitely see exactly what Coach Alex was saying. They were giving too much respect, and they were paying as a result of that. Yeah, exactly. You would think of they might have gone crazy after you see a gecko on an operator, but it's something that we have seen in the past from them, and it's definitely something that they need to do. As Coach Alex was saying, when they do not have that dual. They need someone to be that uh, impact player, and I think that it is so important that what Sue um, asked the right question. It is round 20. It is the round that changed everything for Paper Rex because they were not yeah. finding success after getting that uh, pistol round, and this is exactly uh, uh, what they needed to do: just putting pressure in every side of the map, sorry, on the sides of the map, in pushing EDG to push onto mid. Yeah, just having that B main control is so important because you can stack plays into the top section of mid, and it's exactly what they were talking about. And as soon as this comes through, they just set it up beautifully. With just a double flash play, peeking together, making sure they take the fights, not showing the respect anymore, just to try and get it over that finish line. And then a the follow-up round, which we didn't actually pull, but it's the exact same scenario. I mean, you just see the delayed B main take, really forcing EDG to take control of that one. And they were lost, EDG, on their attack side in that one particular round that was the turning point for EDG to end up taking that map. But, you know, some some signs of weaknesses, I would say, just at least on that on that half. But definitely, form focus-wise, Paper X have come here to play. They got some shooters on their teams, man. They are going pound to pound with a team like EDG. EDG. It was a concern of mine, I think, as well. But listen, the, the mechanical ability is all there. <laughs> I think, for Paper X. Yeah, it, it certainly has been. And you can even see them too, like they're laughing, they're having a good time. Yeah. That is incredibly important because you got to keep the spirits high, especially when you're in these tense situations on that stage. But let's uh, jump uh, over to the other side, though, for our aim lab shoot around. We're going to check in with Kong Kong here and talk about EDG going into their pick on Vine. This, you know, I think that we were prepared to see EDG supremacy. Yep. Um, and even even though we didn't quite get it in map Bye, one, yeah. I'm not trying to sell the stocks quite yet here, Brent. I do believe that EDG can very well bounce back. Vine could be the map that they do it, and Kong Kong could be the catalyst. It could be, yeah. I think, I mean, I believe he plays the KO on Bind, and yeah. they have Smoggy playing the raids. So yeah. they, swap the, they swap the roles up again for this one, which is the next map we're going to be heading into. It's going to be interesting to see how he performs, Kong, but Kong. It's, it's about that setup as well with the flashes and the plays. I think we might see just familiar patterns in terms of the win conditions. You know, how much we were talking about disrupting the retake protocols mm -hmm. with the Utah coming in find when you're playing on the attack side is pretty heavily especially with the comps that they play the double initiated comps is trying to disrupt the retake timings either that or through b or a trying to fight for backside a control I mean, one of the first good, good, on good was, you know, cracks his KO on buying for foot there's a shout out for you i mean they were one of the best <laughs> teams <laughs> in the game at doing that, <laughs> that backside <laughs> control on bind and so i think those are going to probably be long familiar time. elements again yeah a long long time ago <laughs> now no, you can't. Karen wasn't playing the game. No, so it's true. It's true. He wasn't even playing. He wasn't even born then, apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and see what Coach After has to say as we get ready for map two. I'm now joined by Coach After from EDG and Luna to do some translating as well. Now, After, it felt like you could have really won that map. Do you think the slow start in the first half costed you? And how do you fix that going on to map two? 呃，其实，在这张图第一开始的时候，其实是有一点慢热的。你觉得，如果说并不是这样慢的开始，能够如果不是这样慢的开始的话，能够有机会赢下来吗？以及在第二张图能不能解决好这个问题？呃，其实我们下半场已经找回来比赛节奏状态了，所以可以在在第二张图体现出来。然后，第一张图慢热的问题，其实是呃，在节奏掌握上，我觉得我们一开始是。熟悉他们了，但是我们在辩证的过程中，可能在少了很多呃细腻的沟通吧，就可能会变成是阻碍我们的一个情况。然后接下来在第六第二张图，我们会会把这件事情给调整过来。嗯、um, ，I think in the second half of the first map, we kind of like find our pace back. 
uh, and we are definitely gonna bring it back to the second map and the reason why we are slow uh, starts so slow is because we kind of there are miss uh, communication and we're gonna fix that in the second map well thank you so much for your time after thank you Luna and best of luck Miscommunication issues with EDG, certainly something that they're going to need to have to clean up yep. as they get ready for Vine because Paper X, it just seems like they're just vibing out there. So you really got to try and catch them off guard. Oh, yeah, exactly. If you think that, that attack huh? that we saw on the first map was something, just wait until you see two and a half Stop initiators. I can, I can be as a half initiator uh, yeah. with all that utility. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yo. This uh, okay. This is something that I believe they ran something super similar. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I love to see Paper X pull out the Reina combo, especially like this <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the Brimstone as well, because they have some cool stuff that they pull out. I mean, it's been a while now. I mean, you're going to have yep. to scour the VODs if you even have time for that, because we're going to be jumping into the game. But EDG are running their standard stuff as well, which puts Kang Kang onto that KO as well. All eyes on him, I think, and trying to support that one. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. I think this is really cool that Paper X are pulling back the strap book almost onto this. One with all the discussion we've had about the map pool being weak, yeah. this is a great way to offset it is by pulling out an old comp that you've already fleshed out before. Totally, and you may not have a sentinel, but you do have that Reyna, and you're going to be playing to support her as much as you can, especially when you're on the defense. But if they manage to do exactly what they did on map one, they only need to have a super strong first half here on the attack. I think that the initiating power is still there, I think it lags a little bit, but probably if the EDG were super keen to go in into this map, if the preparation with was there, something has to change incredibly. Fast and if will to take to this is uh, going to be quite fascinating to see how this, you know, crumbles or potentially rises up for both of the teams here. This is going to be really, really fun to watch. And good thing is, we're going to jump right into the action and let's send it back over to Mitch and Tom. Thank you so much to our oh, wonderful so. analyst desk once again as a map two. Bye bye. To bye bye. 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 Yeah, it, it's something that they've run through in the past. Map, uh, I think yeah. obviously we saw them have combinations with Gecko. Oh, 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 Gone downhill a little bit, so they've gone with the fade instead. But these are all agents that they've run on this map before. It's just this combination that I think is sense. a little bit different. Of course, something on this map on Rainer. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the map. I'll be honest. He's always terrifying. Yeah, something is just uh, an element of a, of his own. I think Reina in general, my least favorite agent. But there's certain players that can make me enjoy. Oh, she's not Life was one. Oh, how she's not you. Good control over the site, but long is left open for the side of Paper X. They don't know that EDG Aye. have two players still stacked up there, but it looks like they want to take some control of their own, pushing through the spawn smoke in towards elbow. Players caught them though. The rear rotate through the spawn has mm. led to a very awkward position. These these defenders are scattered, but they can crunch. It's left it. Already another kill coming through you? Paper X. That W key hasn't been let go for the majority of this round, and now with an advantage device still left behind. I don't even think they know that he's here with the smoke fading. Oh, yo, the vine, my friend, the vine. Beautiful, the vine. Yeah, chaos. the vine. It was a hard one for me so looking at all the players <laughs> on the mini map. I can see everything, and it's you're still trying to put together the pieces as they chop and change different parts. <laughs> of the <map. laughs> I can only imagine what that looks like from EDG's perspective. You just do not know what the next step wow. for Paper X's dance is going to be. 1 to 0. This attacking side has found their legs. Now they've got some rifles to play with. One pistol. And that's going to be on something. While EDG don't decide to invest very much at all. Two sheriffs. And they'll try to find value by taking that orb early on B. Perhaps even push <laughs> down. <laughs> <the map. laughs> <Grab another. laughs> He's just going through it, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, Something. <laughs> Say something. Uh, yeah. I'm giving oh, up on you. Because he was only with a pistol in this round. Hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, 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 Shouldn't even have been remotely close. No timing. No, no not even. Not even. Like the timing. One percent. I mean, oh, this, yeah. this is just ridiculous. EDG certainly have some fight left in them. And the best part about it 
is that one of the most valuable ultimates comes online because of that. Jinchu now has an orbital strike to play with. This could be big for this squad. And I think for Paperx, they've got to be kicking themselves. Sure, the initial fight <laughs> goes ahead of the smoke, gets caught off guard, but he had a pistol. It's whatever. Yeah, yeah ideally, you'd have another player beside him. Whatever. We can look past it. But everything from that point forward was a domino that never should have fallen. <coughs> well, luckily for them, Forsaken did also do a lot of damage, so he's going to have the reckoning online. Something is exciting you with an outlaw and arena. You're talking about that. I'm looking at Munya with the Bucky. It's, it's a I suggest First you move. Away, the space already been taken. And of course, the reckoning just gives him all the information. Oh, yeah, Look how close oh, this man is going to be able to get. Just cause them issues. This buy, not a particularly good one, but now in the afterplant, very scary. Oh yeah. This is where nah, he can't can't really take off. to swing an angle out in the open. There's not much of a choice. Looks like Orbital Strike being online early is going to be used to try and give oh, them an no. advantage, but it pushes the Bucky forward oh, Bucky. to their arms. Okay, okay, That's not ready this to be up close and personal. Munyet has a bit of a timing to worry about. These players on the other side... Do 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 and it's as easy as could be. Already tagging up... Mm, Wow. That is China number one, yes. You region, strong for you historically, EDG, but you've just been owned immediately. Maybe not in battle already. Like, <laughs> you can't really feel good about a round like that. It's so ridiculous. As long as a teammate's done damage or they're on half shields, this guy's able to one shot you and immediately get out of there. I mean, you're already moving quick with an outlaw. It's already buff, but he's just going doubling down on it. Paper X, three to zero. But EDG managed to upset them down to just one player left with a lot less. And, oh, oh! He's gone in through. Between. That's perfect, like a scene out of Ocean's 12. And the smoke is held on. Oh, yo. Managed to get one. The boom bot's down a second. No man, yeah. Damage, but he's still in the corner. They haven't spotted him. Wow. He's found another as well. I, I, I don't know how. Leon, that's a smoke. Oh, it's really Leon, that's a smoke. Wow. How it's doing. Clear the smoke. Wow. 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 What the fuck? Way, that was that was the master. There's the Mastercard thrifty. These guys are all right with weak weapons. It looks like. Moist the Mastercard thrifty. Why they even buy rifles? Look at this. 20 HP. Just once again. 20 HP. And another player comes out. He's a Mastercard sponsor. So I have to come down. Oh. And let the LL die. Just in case, ah. That's, that's, that is one way wow, to the 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 it was. <laughs> it was going all the way through. He's being caught, but mind freeze. Catchy nobody. This is a big kill. They've got an extra angle to fight. Oh, take that off. Mind freeze. Wow, that flick. Wow. Nobody's ever looking at him when he swings. Can't have that But at least it's down to cheat you. Still, camera is still tall. Mind freeze and forsaken, but the post plant is the real danger. They can run that clock down, peaking one at a time. Hey, this is where we return to normality. Ah, 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 this is where we it is like who can make the riskiest <coughs> play of the round, and at the moment, I, I feel like the only person losing is me. <laughs> losing my mind. That's I look EDG. They
嗯，不敢笑了，我们不敢笑了。因为每次玩那么玩很认真的，不能笑了。My mind doesn't work at a high enough level to understand the the chaos unfolding in front of us. For EDG, well, let's hope they've got an idea of the tweaks that need to be made here. It's only 4-1, but we saw Paper X run away with it in the first half of last map, and despite EDG having a big resurgence, they were never really able to find their feet. This has to be a different story for them. Yeah, this is the thing. It, it's not only the fact that you have to try and quell what has been some of the paciest rounds you've ever seen. You almost have the utility dump instantly, otherwise you're going to lose the site, and you're probably going to lose your spawn. But then you also have to look at the guys on the other side of the stage, and realize they're just giggling to themselves. At a Masters event, <laughs> the opportunities, you need two wins and you get top four, and those guys are just having, having fun. Oh, the stage is a lot of Chinese people. Yeah, it's a lot. You know, EDG, you lose this, you go, okay, well, Paper X, maybe they are actually... Support the man. You know, the region is sick. Sure, Gen.G had a... a Wow, this is just from the chin, ah. Smoke the man. Yeah. Potential elimination on the line. Chin, ah. This is just from the chin. No smoke gun. I don't think there's smoke gun. This is also also fuck. I think this is also also fuck. Ah! Wow! Wow! Uh, good trick, good trick, good trick. In the middle, look, look at where something is though. He's just walked out onto the site. He's just got no fear. Even gonna get himself healed back up. Wow. Must be surprised. And finally, Smoggy will put him down with the trade. Immediate. An advantage once again garnered for Paper X and the remaining players. This flank there. Because then you can't get brims to the Tanwe. It's all gonna be on to whether or not Mind Freak is looking in the right direction, and they both win their battle. We all. It's now left on to just Dubai, but one player is very low, and he's already gonna clear him. Oh, Dubai's gone out ahead of it as well. That's expected. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. This time someone was looking at him, but he still wins the fight. As a round will be found for EDG, that gap not going to be extending. Paper X have an opponent hot on their heels. I mean, the other thing for Paperx as well, coming into this round, you've got some ah weakness. Really, it's just Monyet after going down so early in the last one. Uh, the reality is, he should be in a pretty decent position, still rocking a. Well, actually, I saw a stinger. But the weaknesses aren't too massive. It's more so the ult economy. Smoggy's got a showstopper, and nobody has a hunter's fury to play with. Big ultimates for that defensive side. Big safety nets to fall into. It's a young Illy Smoke line at you. Illy Smoke on Illy Two. We've already seen the outlaw. Now you get the big brother. The thing is, you know, although the damage is going to be lower on the outlaw, right? Kind of need the headshot on the swing. You're going to be. It's going to be much harder to post up on those angles with the off to get in and get out. And we saw him. You know, not something. True. For most people, that, that sh I should always put that in front of them. For most people, that would be the issue. We, we've watched him do it on Gecko in the last, on attack side, just yeah, single-handedly take out up, a team. Uh. So oh. now he actually has some movement benefit. <coughs> Even still, though, EDG really needing to string a couple of rounds together. It's been an eco and a problematic round of money. No trouble finding that open up. Nightfall has deafened their opponents. It's a little bit more problematic in terms of working out how far forward they've gone. The high tide has cleared so much space. Light up the moment. Yeah, it's a little bit more problematic in terms of working out how far forward they've gone. The high tide has cleared so much space. Light up the moment. Yeah, it's a little bit more problematic in terms of working out how far forward they've gone. The high tide has cleared so much space. Light up the moment. Yeah, it's a little bit more problematic in terms of working out how far forward they've gone. The high tide has cleared so much space. Light up the moment. Yeah, it's a little bit more problematic in terms of working out how far forward they've gone. The high tide has cleared so much space. Light up the moment. Yeah, it's a little bit more problematic in terms of working out how far forward they've gone. The high tide has cleared so much space. Light up the moment. Yeah, it's a little bit more problematic in terms of working out how far forward they've gone. The high tide has cleared so much space. Light up the moment. Yeah, it's a little bit more problematic in terms of working out how far forward they've gone. The high tide has cleared so much space. Light up the Finding targets. Oh, they're so low. With Smokey down, the numbers. Oh, so if I fling out. No, I'm in good shape. Seconds left. All they have to do is deny the spike being picked up. And how dong? He gives the space. Six seconds as they make it towards the side. What a shot! Mr. Genial. How dong? How did he manage that? He's won it off the clock alone. And if that came down to a one v one with something, I don't think he's winning it. But he avoided it altogether. Beautiful play. I'll be honest. I was scared when he let it go. When he let it go, I was like, "That's a risk that I don't know what I'm taking." But hey, 
He was ready for them to try and run in the safest spot possible. And wow. It's a crazy wallback. This is just a fear Calm factor, though. Just what something can do, even in the most awkward fights possible. Again, though, the rounds the EDG have won is off the back of pistols and two one <laughs> What a distress. <laughs> out of that man on your screen. <laughs> you like Illy Smoke? <laughs> nah, Illy Chill. Kanakan中的那个我的就想起门飞了，我讲听到他们气了哈。Start <笑> Corner held, so something that would need to be hard cleared from the side of Paper X and the read already in from EDG. Third player already into position. I feel like they'd have to be some pretty big errors over on the other side. You can see the passive angles that are being held. The knife even going to give them a fair amount of information. They know there's a couple of players waiting here, even ready to invest the orbital strike if they need it. They want to try and make this one clean. It has been a lot of close rounds, even still. Open though, up the sky. Is there anything more to be had? Deep fry, Davai. How he's still alive here, finally. The dancing something will go down and can't can't rise. What do we have a race sign up in the way? What the heck? Don't see you. Don't see you. We have a race. Finally have a clean round. Mm, I like your theory, yeah. Listen, my team, listen. So much trouble. Don't see that, yeah. Don't see that. Support like the team. Huh? Support like the team. Support like the team. Support like the team. Don't see that. Don't see that. Tangzhu, <laughs> Neutral supporter. Maybe just going for something a little bit more aggressive in this round and obviously having that extra movement, movement to try and get out of there. My yawn, I saw you. We are seeing that reckoning. Now, this was one of the major issues in some of the early rounds is that reckoning for Forsaken. Last bit of power. It just is filthy. It gives all the information and causes chaos. Come 我一个看的运动anime是那个什么 不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是
，笑到我肚子痛哦，看那个戏。<笑>哎呦，你看，我要我要学阿力啊！哎呦，全部女人哈，那是更难哦。哎，没有很多，有一次很多男的。很多男很多女，男男比较多啦。可是那女的很漂亮啊，全部在那个室内。她是那种上戏的，呃，靠，啊靠，你会弄到你肚子痛了。哎呦！我妈，哎呀，你开始拎回来哦，哎，不可以哦，哎。阿雷，阿雷。嗯，哇，帅死，帅死。不要关灯，哎呦喂。Trying to adapt themselves. Again, though, don't have any ultimates online. Showstopper and the Null Command. The trip. The second one, though, is superb. Go away, that trip, mad. An audacious attempt trying to catch them. Oh, 拿中拿女那个区块。Not taking the same risk. 放血。Waiting for a little bit of support, and already they're going to counter out anything on the other side. 很美啊，刚刚。With that Null Command. No danger of those more aggressive flashes coming through, and or something. 他们中 flash 还要 pick 出去。哎呦！完蛋了！哇！你机会啊！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇！哇
that's just outrageous carry on from this man but it is par for the course at the same time despite some nice shots from something and a decent map overall it's still you lie the advantage thought Sudo and the one they've claimed an orb and an orbital strike on the back of it Chichu will have that to work with if they end up in a post plant but hold on to fight they're rushing it down trying to take these duels in fact it's Chichu who has the ult that's now left on 30 HP and it plays it just to buy a little bit more time so they can fight on the side and it works with Con Con hitting a shot and Chichu doing the same there's no long push anymore Chichu oh my god those bullets are coming so damn close but they think he's dropped out now they've spammed too much for him to still be in position and he might just get the jump they're going to go in the smoke they're going to emerge from the smoke Chichu the sacrificial lamb and have traded through the smoke and he almost doubles up on it 2v2 to a 2v2 he's managed to dodge it he's always been a snake in the grass he gets the timing Oh, 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 oh my god, no! Switching side! Alec, Alec, thank you, Alec. Dong has been impressive, sneaking his way behind these players again and again. It's time for us to toss it over to the analyst desk to see what they make of the EDG's chances. Uh, the EDG's chances are pretty solid so far if they keep playing like that, Kakuka. Yeah, exactly. I think that there's been so many like turnarounds. We were uh, seeing how they were interpreting the map, how they have all these ways of acquiring that information, but they were committing the same mistake that they were making in the previous map, and it's leaving Paper Rex with a lot of space, and they will take it, they will use it against you, and that is the reason why they were getting on those rounds. But how Dong, as we were saying, and as Mitch was oh, yeah. highlighting, he was key to the turnaround, not only because of the clutches that he won, is actually being it the right at the exact uh, right moment, right time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you see numerous moments him holding down for the showers control, making it really awkward for Paper X to try and go for that big A exec that was working all the time in the first half, basically, yeah. the first half of the first half. <laughs> and um, and he was just an absolute monster. I mean, an absolute difference maker. But Woo! gotta give credit to EDG with the right adaptations in terms of their macro ideas. They yeah, decided to push up the, the aggressive off into angles, out through showers, out through B-Long at the same time. Mm. How long was mm -hmm. contributing, mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. his piece as well. Mm -hmm. Really good moves by EDG to recognize mm -hmm. what those weaknesses were. And they set themselves up now with an mm -hmm. 8 I mean, after losing a pistol round, it's almost unheard of. This is a dominant half. Ding, yeah, ding, ding, no, uh, the, 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 Ah,那个等一下先。还没有到啊，还没有到啊，还没有到啊。啊，还没有到啊。啊，还没有到啊。啊，还没有到啊。啊，还没有到啊。啊，还没有到啊。啊，还没有到啊。啊，还没有到
most teams, that's a death sentence. Yet here they are with a three-round lead. Yeah, I, I think for sake. 他的好处就是你近战的时候是可以可以多带。嗯，可以多带人家。便宜哦，那枪。可是他他子弹少啊，才十二粒子弹嘛。啊哇！那什么什么 skin 呢？那个，那 skin 的 skin 的 battle pass， 丑嘞！哈哈哈哈哈哈！怎样怎样弄弄鸡啊？哇！太贵的那种弄弄弄。九六根啊！好啊，那是。他、啊、奥洛也不错嘛，他那个奥洛其实不错。他奥洛也是这个。哇！一粒子弹呢？哇！刚好站在一起。拉皮。I feel like if you're on the EDG side, you have got to be so damn careful. Now they normally are. Hey, three seven nine, Wei Wei, six eight nine. You can't, you can't. That EDG's attack is very strong. Oh, that's 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 Check angles. Instead, it's got to be much slower, relying on things like your Sova drone, your recons to clear those angles. Forsaken is posted up and ready to duel. Same spot as before. Greeny G. That could spell a disaster. I know. I know. They've got to be careful of those judges. Mind freak is not being caught. So they'll look for the site control. Oh, I don't know. I know. Straight into Munyet. He's crept out behind the box and pops up for a nasty surprise. Wow! Oh yo, I like. Me here, that's it. Oh yo, monyet. Wow! Oh yo. How tall are they? Oh. He's completely behind. Oh. They've left a gap, and that gap has been exploited. Such good positioning from him. A quick rotation. Oh. 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 Oh
going to start maneuver their way back towards the A site, which has thinned out slightly. The reckoning, though, we're, we're getting down to the last 30 seconds. Going in this direction will leave them with not a lot really to play with. They're going to try and just almost run their way through it, but they're slowly being revealed every single time they try and make their way through. Finally, the reckoning will fade, but Mind Freak now in position. A code for Forsaken to try and almost fight within, and they are falling like oh, flies. No, Forsaken know. winning every battle, leaving just T2 remaining. Eight seconds. Wow. And a still to find. There is no oh, shot second. that he gets anything from this one. And finally, while well, Munyet will fall, but Dubai immediate on the reaction. Okay. Yeah, you know, initially I thought Forsaken's probably put out the reckoning because when they push on the side of BDG, they're li well, first of all, information. Secondly, when they push, they're likely to be blitzing in towards that position. Hey, Miwa, I use this team. If Chichu gets this a little strong, but Smoggy could be on you in a second. Oh. In fact, I think he just put it out so he could farm up some orbs and pick it up. He's, he's almost halfway to having it online again. Just a lights out performance from Forsaken, but still two rounds behind. BDG, weaker weapons. This is where they've been scary at times and an orbital strike online as we mentioned so still a lot of danger if this attack side can find ground looking for a little bit of early control and the same from something starting to really lock down avenues of the map you can see dubai doing the same on the extremities of b does leave a little bit more of an opening but the, the thing is Munyet has completely switched up his position. He was playing the charge over the last couple of rounds. He's flying once again. I'm going to lay a deal. 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 with a frenzy but that was against pistols they know where he is. he is completely surrounded what? nice spray just divide to finish it off but how dong has a third kill he started this with a goddamn classic one enemy remaining wow. and there's only that device has to have device wow it is going to be another master card during the unexpected absolutely no sense christy man switch over to yeah, I, I, I like the I like the representation you use. Uh, we've seen Nats do that. Nats a great cipher. I don't know if we've seen him just manage to Oh, I'm lucky I have me have me on the thing that was the initial pressure there from Forsaken really watching for this spot but he just catches a timing every single time. It, it is absurd how well this man is playing. Oh, maybe a little bit of frustration. Oh, I timing from me. I timing to the me. 10 to 7 in the lead and while That's the floor. I hope that is a leather bag. <laughs> I like that. I like You know, it, it's an interesting contrast. <laughs> <laughs> that's <we> cool. <laughs> have, one. The real issue that Paper X ran into again, <laughs> I think they got lucky with some of the rounds where Monyet <laughs> was <laughs> able to bypass the utility. It could have been an opening pick for the side. But one of the main tr uh, challenges that they had was playing up against How Dong's utility. <laughs> was having love this guy you, my consistently freak. being Marry able to me, these traps that are slowing you down and it was the a site that he was holding on to control of and how poetic that when they swap sides it's how dong coming through and going yeah you know you should probably play the agents i'm playing guys because i can just walk <laughs> up behind you if you don't it, it's unreal how much space he's found he did it on a bat he now has done it on lamps with a classic and nothing else i i don't know what else he can do to surprise his opponents but i am certain that he will be doing more of this because the consistency is off the charts it's got to be infuriating for Paper X. A way back into the map with your opponents on a weak buy, and you lose to one man in his classic. A free gun, by the way. <laughs> 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 I think it was his spacing more than anything else. Look at the aggression, though. This is the W gaming we were expecting to see an immediate push all the way power. down B long. But again, it doesn't really come with any rewards. Having to fall back. Use burn a lot of utility in the early stage of wow. these rounds and they've neither of those fights. Can't come. He's got both in his locker. Just takes down the duo of Paper X, but it does turn out it was a dream. Duo. There was a third piece to the puzzle, unfortunately. <laughs> Man, yeah. And the very best of luck to him in the battle to come. Because by the looks of it, 
That judge is going to have to find five players. Uh, EDG are in a 5v3 with no intentions of being picked off individually. They're moving together, making their way into this site. There's a drone, oh. and that's really the... They're oh, giving no. him a gap. Oh, hold on. He might actually be in the position to get this. They've spotted him. Oh, only one. Perfect my from EDG. Yeah, nice work. Nice I, street, I, I nice like street. the idea from Forsaken. Just create a little pocket in the corner that he can hide with him, but... I think the fact that he shoots at Smog, he ah, si the game, oh, like, hey. might have been spotted anyway. And for Mime Freak, it's not really much he can do but to just try and save something. The real problem, though, is that this wasn't... Like, you might be looking at this and thinking, oh, well, the way that round went, it was probably a low buy. No, that was everything. Paper X threw the kitchen sink at that one and have now just got to try and hold on Crazy to this right for the 11th round for EDG inevitable. And I don't know, know if they're going to have much to play within the next round. Luckily, both teams... So something had uh, been able to do a lot of things nice to buy. So maybe we'll get something Craft magical once again. But it is at the stage now either. where Paybreaks need it. Hmm, let's see for this one. Oh, EDG. It does. Oh, it's a four me, round lead me. and two rounds to close this one out. Bring us to split. Yeah. And it'd be a nice right here. Uh, <laughs> swap over. You know, the, the, the shoe's on the other foot. ZDG lost 13-8. Paper X might be losing 13-7. You said they invested everything in that last one. They do come out of it with still two ultimates to work with. Monette and Devai will have something. And, and, and you know, but literally, their teammate. But they'll have those ults to work with. A couple rifles, stingers there. They're going to rush Tom, it's not looking great. But the element of surprise is the best thing that they can hope to rely on. <laughs> it's not surprising at this point, though. <laughs> they haven't had much more in terms of death. Mind Freak's gonna get one, but that's all she wrote. Look how ready EDG were. I know you've got a slightly hey, low. Well, 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 well. I wonder if you're gonna push something. Just the cam out see the end, see the end, to Get his team ready, and then everybody, the firing squad, just watching. Very easy round for EDG, and sure, something's still standing. He's gone as well, Smoggy. Winning that fight out once again, and what can Devi really hope to achieve? Good shit, Neo PX. See you, Ron. Close range SMG and four full HP players. A stinger. Well, GB wanted to see Paper X on his defense come out with aggression, just punch him in the mouth. And they've ended out. Wow. Like Five chances now for EDG to close this map. Turns out they had grills. That's why it's they punched them in the mouth. Oh, Dean. Indent in their own hand. Lay low, lah. And this is exactly what you're talking about, Tom. Like at this stage of the game, you're just Match like, oh, are, are Paper X pushing? <laughs> oh, wow. I'm shocked. And no just, way. <laughs> <laughs> protocols are there. They're ready. EDG a step ahead on Bind. This was a map that we had some question marks around. Playing against Paper X on this, I was, yeah. huh? I would say, before this, it's never uh -huh. seen uh -huh. EDG uh -huh. certainly trying to make that look like a foolish statement. Boys, especially you lose both pistols. And you're 12-7 up. That, that's that's, a, that's a damn good showing. And they've, they've had some rounds as well where something popped off and they've managed to weather that storm. It's something that many teams have tried and many <laughs> teams have failed. <laughs> and within their <laughs> matchup versus <laughs> Paper X, it's never gone their way. I believe they've had a map before in the past, but... I think if they head on to split, mm. it's been one of their oh. best maps within the region. It's been great for Paper X. It is the perfect place to end it, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm feeling good. Already we're seeing for some of the Indian, so the individual already believes. Oh, I think it's that. If there was a real story on this one, you know, normally on this map, there's not going to be those crazy reveals to play around. Instead, it's one of the most fabulous. Well, you're going to have to get the most foggy, and he's crouched down. He's not going to be able to get the most foggy, and he's not going to be able to get the most foggy. The suppressive fire. Really about to be at this stage for Paper X, but they still have to get back into the site. Chichu sprinting around, hasn't been isolated yet. It's left down to just one man, but that one man is Haldong. Getting that little bit more aggressive. He's using his opponent's util, even has the cam, and is just about gonna reveal. Knows that they're no longer on this defusal, but desperately needs a kill, and he isn't gonna be able to find it. 
That wow. will come through and Paprex will live to fight another day. Nice, yeah, I was already calling in to the admins, change his name on that hood, take out the last four. Hey, okay, you know, winnable, winnable. Winnable, 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 winnable. You sank out, man, eh? They put a stop to him. That's the first out of five. Four more. Nice. Let's take them. And look, you, you have the showstopper there buying them the kill. Good. That was a bad for Sank. No, it wasn't. It was the player he'd already spotted. Who was already dead at that point? It could yeah. have been a double kill. Winnable, winnable. Believe it, believe. Four more match. Four more. She's about to have ult online as well, but look how much paper X have in this round. Launching slow. Yeah, all it takes is one, but well, one eco from EDG, is it? That's <laughs> nice. all it takes. Maybe. One yet back on the judge, but that's not really been too much of a detriment for him. And I actually feel like it's fairly important for Paybreaks to clear out that camp. Every piece of utility out on sand has had impact. Instead, though, it's the slow walk up. Yeah, yeah. Looking to potentially get that orb online, as you mentioned, one away. I don't think it's really much. Okay, yeah. I'll be able to stop it at this stage. And this is such a disgusting <laughs> A I, disgusting I don't know position. How, how what the fuck? This time. Surely he should be dead to oh, rights, but no! Oh, oh. He's prepared every single moment. They got that advantage again. Oh, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. Wow, let's get out of his own teammate. If he made it through, you bet he probably gets a couple. And Devi holding the line on the other side. Who saw this? I don't know what the fuck. Look where they are. 30 seconds left. They expected the B side to be open at this stage. They have to get the kill onto Dubai, and he is low. Hmm, chances now to push this across the line. And we're starting to see different facets of the come online. This is what we were hoping for. But this guy just he gets over the strikes by the opponent and he's like, I think that might have actually been a tidy there pocket, was. but it, 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 that's easy for us to yeah. see. In that moment, he's like, yeah. oh dear. You know, if he had a cam where our hey, observer was, man. he would have known. Yeah. There's There's the cam, but he also wouldn't have been oh, look, able to yeah. move. Freddy would have had to jump and check it real quick. <laughs> wouldn't be ideal. But yeah, the double orbital strikes, they don't happen too often, creating a pocket no, like no. that. <laughs> So, understandable. Three more chances for EDG. Rifles out again. So, I'm expecting them to win whenever they eco. Oh, you can't uh, put out G. For Paper X. Put out G. Why, man? No. The big gun in play for Saken with the open. Wow. Smoky down. The flag coming in. Wow, 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 what? Way of EDG. Mind Freak needs a little more, but it's only going to be the one. Something no. forsaken. No. No. Two players. Two names that strike fear into the hearts of any opponent. Oh! Trying to get that wall bank through, but it's getting dangerously close to a reload. I think he's even going to have to just fall back, give this one up for now. Well, 10 bullets left, right? He had to pop that reload. But he's ready to fight again now. 100 bullets. How near? Four seconds. And ready. Something on the other side of the map as the plan comes down. He's going to take a while to get there, but Forsaken's not willing to give up the space. Now he's been spotted as he sees the cam turn oh, no. towards, and this oh, might no. be the end for him. It's being revealed, but good damage. That's deterred Hao Dong from actually taking the peak. It's allowed for that cam to be completely negated. The swing is good for something, and he spotted both players. A 1v2, so I'm going to wait four so. bullets now. And it's not looking good. This could be EDG no. pushing it across the line. Another dismiss into a heel reload, and something's got a chance. No leer to work with. Ooh, the DQ is stuck to half, but the swing no. is no. to close the map. Boss,斯拉邦,斯拉。他真是太不可能了。他真是太不可能了。他真是太不可能了。他真是太不可能了。他真是太不可能了。他真是太不可能了。他真是太不可能了。他真是太不可能了。他真是太不可能了。他真是
Wih jangan kan YouTube kan lo Fitnya Set Ya orang se I'll cut my sentinel Dia sentinel ini tak sancang lah Cukup kan Mereka ada yang jual Mereka ada yang jual lah Mereka juga masih berlaku 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 Dan masih berlaku Mereka juga masih berlaku Mereka juga masih berlaku Mereka juga masih berlaku Oh,这是没有精神看的，我真的是气。我那身体半年就眼睛那边了，这是 Mr. 有 smell salt， 妈的！天哪，用不着 smell salt， 用不着。笑会怎样？啊，笑会精神咯。好噻。嗯，先找一下。没有，你要去找那些很臭的袜子，你还去闻一下。没有，没冰山，你就直接醒哦。没冰山，我看。哈哈哈哈哈。冰山了，不是不是不是不是醒哦。臭鸟。穿了十年的袜子啊，没有洗过啦、啊，很多汗那种啊，很多汗流过很多汗那种啊，我们吸一下，拿去拿去吸一下，闻一下，一个精神起来哦，朋友，一个精神哦，升天哦，啊，走吧走吧走吧。我我我只有爱豆哦，你那个那个网你在那边捞爱豆啊，就是发毛，已经有三百多个物了，不然。哦。哦。哦。哦。哦，别呼吸了。哦，嗯，比较精神点哈。EDG managed to pick up a massive victory, forcing the map three as Bind goes their way. What a series we have been treated to, folks. Of course, Goldboy here alongside Kukuka and Brent as we break it down and we get ready for map three. 不讲真的，少了金真的是没有讲金啊，别。啊？我讲 PRS 少了金真的没讲金啊。我那边的选他们最顶的呗。那边的选他的他的。还记得我们这次？ And both pistols went on the side of Paperex. On paper, everything should have gone for Paperex, but EDG managed to just be one step ahead. I think that their IGL has to be crowned for that. Yeah, and you know, actually, we do have a Verizon high-speed moment of that map, and we're going to give it to something. Obviously, gives us an opportunity to talk about just the impact that he makes. But it's wild that you see something pull off just absurd clips like this, and even then, it just was not enough to get them over the finish line, Kukuka. Which means that EDG Holy shit, that's a ton of work. Yeah, exactly. It's not only about the shooting. I think that the understanding that EDG ended up having of, of the map, how they positioned the operator and the uh, pressure that they were uh, getting with it. Even though this happened, they managed to win the map. So. Yeah, the sensual is quite fast. They can do this. They can do this. They can do this. They can do this. And they do it a lot. It's like something style. That happened they, last map too. Yeah, they they try and do it to slow down the tempo, and because they condition super hard, pacey play styles, and then yeah. they slow.
slow it all the way down. And it, it can work, don't get me wrong, but they were really struggling to find ways to entry into sites when something had an operator mm. because they, they just couldn't find the, the, the pace increase when they needed it. Uh, with You know, he was doing his best, but it was really, really struggling. But for EDG, I think they had a wonderful macro understanding of how to play that map. I mean, Extremity Control is all the rage on Bind. It has been since it came out. Yep. Like controlling showers, controlling B-Long. If you have mm. control of those areas, you're going to do wonders. And Haodong was just the pivotal player yep. for all of it. Totally. The positions that he was finding, we were mentioning how the lurks and controlling them lurks was going to be yeah, important. Haodong, but he took it to another level. Yeah. In, in so many rounds, we saw him just taking up all that space. Even though EDG is a very slow team, we see them waiting at the beginning of every round, waiting to see when Paper X is going to be the Paper X that we know and is going to be extra aggressive. They were also prepared for that. But then, as I said, how don't find in the very specific timing into how to grant all that space grant the kill and also help the rest of his teammates being like yep yeah, this is safe i get the old safe you know we keep going the lurks were so wild it, it's it also just goes to show you right how yes you know the, it is always going to be about the sum of all of your parts but when you have someone like that who's really making individual plays taking those risks taking that space and just being heads up that is that is scary yeah. to have to play against and paper x learned today I mean, it's crazy as well. I mean, they won this basically 4v5 as well. I mean, nobody had one kill for most of the map. He only got a second one towards the tail end. And yeah, his util was good. Uh, I will give him credits, I think, as well. I mean, he had the drone for the post plant and a lot of scenarios and getting good value at attacks. But I mean, it was a it was a large ask, I think, of the rest of the EDG squad when they were losing basically in that metric. When we associate with China as a region as they've always got that firepower, yeah. they, they kind of were losing those first duels, yet they were still salvaging the situations, which I thought were fantastic. And of course, you know, we have to big up Haldon because it's just him, hyper intelligent and lurk timings don't uh, don't even tell me i don't understand how he was able to just find these players i think this is when there was a judge in the close corner and oh it's yeah just, this is just play. beautiful this is yeah. the last one we even see that, that he tags on the map to see oh i saw it oh, oh that yeah. was it Ooh, uh, oh uh, man, man, it's, it's just so mm. so damn away from him to be able to find the tp and shot at it yeah he shot his team it was his teammate it's okay there was a lot on the line my guy's dialed in he's dialed in you know everyone's a target doesn't matter who it is we cut the clip too short that was when he died to Chichu's choose all as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, I mean, it was just a strange map, but it means we get split now, which I'm really looking forward yeah. to because this is a map where Paper X, I, I have a love-hate relationship with it because they really do embody, you know, you get shot, you die, running this triple duelist <laughs> variant. But uh, it, it just doesn't have legs for me, I think, in the long run. So I'm curious if they're going to be running the exact same comp again this time around. They showed that they're willing to change stuff up. They changed yeah. their bind comp back to an earlier version. So they may change things up even further for split. They have that option available. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But maybe um, they didn't go that deep. Maybe it could be the Euro. And it's actually going to be back. It's the triple duo of this. And no okay. change, if I'm not mistaken, on the <laughs> side of EDG. I mean, um, now that nobody is on the sky, maybe he's going to have a, a, a better time. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, 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 I'm really going to be paying close attention to Paper X because if you only just watch their T1 game when they were running yeah. this comp, it, it looked like they were just cavemen banging their heads against the A site on the attack side. Yeah. They were going for the five-man, four-man hits over and over again. They threw nuance into it, actually, when they played against Gen G. And one of the things that you're going to have to answer is actually keeping up with that tempo control. Like, uh, making sure that they Reach? can always keep it at the back of mm. their minds that Paper X could be in really deep positions really quite quickly. And um, especially because they're not running like a typical Sentinel, they don't have trips to try and slow yeah. down the, the big hits. It's going to be a difficult ass for them, so I'm putting a lot of attention on that. Yeah, exactly. And three out of three maps, Paper Rex is going to be starting on the attack. On the first one, it was definitely what gave them the win and the room to have that comfort. But on the second one, it wasn't like that. So let's see what this map takes us. Can Edward his way to a victory over Paper X or will W Gaming reign supreme? Let's send it back over to the top. Well, Tom, it's time to find out the answer to that question. Eeny G, they've tried three times, they've failed three times, but the fourth, it's looking better. We're it's, on it's map three. It's in the three. game, though. W Gaming. W they, they, they don't lose. That's the problem. I, I don't know. I, the thing is, this composition is one we've now seen eh? a couple of times. Sun the surprise that doesn't mean you're going to be able to deal with it. It's very, control. very difficult. And these are also agents where I think, like, something, one of the best jets in the world, Forsaken, personal opinion, best wow, in the world. It, it's so difficult to play yeah, against the chaos that is created by this side. And that's the storm that's going to have to be weathered. The fun thing about this as well is, in my opinion, both teams have started on their better side of this map. So it's going to be... Uh, it, the first half might actually decide it. <laughs> well, that's mm. it. Remember, Paper X, they'll be happy with this attacking side. They're already set up to move towards this A site. You can see there's a wall in play. It's going to be popped up, but the main 
anything drawing my eye is Forsaken. He's got himself a TP moving right up close where he's already looking to get in towards screens and well, some troubles brewing. He's got the first, but the site control stays to EDG. They've got the oh. spike and Con Con. He's only good for two, but it might be enough. The advantage is theirs and a pick needs to be found soon from the side of Paper X. Leaving Mind Freak alone though, isn't the best of looks. That spike's down on site and he's got three players to pick off. No from the shadows either. That'd be impressive. Yeah. The whole team would have to be dead. <laughs> and then some. Here we go. Just hoping to try and find an isolated duel. Is it going to be happening? Frenzy. EDG, they're off the mark. Uh, and then doing well as well. I like the fact that you almost see the Paper X are doing this blitz player. I think they almost expected there to be no one on site because they had multiple players trying to fight through in towards screens and it almost seemed like they forgot oh, 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 that oh, oh, oh. could be and was within the site so oh, man, yeah. good start from individually he's had Alex. best first map an okay second <laughs> if this is where Kong Kong <laughs> comes online <laughs> 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 yeah yeah just in the nick of time right and you can understand why they don't expect him to be on site, giving him that opportunity they saw two players screens those players seem to be panicking to get back in okay how dong headbutt the nade to start this one off He's staying close on B. Fight around mid. Three players from EDG want to maintain that control. And the lurk of something is left to try and pick them off when they do. Kankan -kan walking down, but he's patient. Just wants to tuck up on the box. Spotted. Nade will cover his retreat. You'd imagine. But he sticks around for the kill instead. Not worried about the numbers that could be rounding the corner. When he gets out, it's Smoggy that's left in the open. Hey trying to cover yo, his retreat. Hey, have to be a little bit careful here, yeah, but this is just his chance to farm. Get ever closer to that ultimate. Don't think that's the gun that something's looking for, and even just an extra player being dropped here could cause a few issues going into the next round. You can see a much more passive sort of crossfire, just waiting to almost pop up that ladder to fight that one together. It's available for nobody on the rotate as well, and EDG, they'll convert, pick up a couple of the guns as well. Yeah, it's nice. They, they came in with two pistols, I think. It's why you see Smoggy play ahead of that. He's He literally is covering the retreat. He can maybe pick off one with the pistol. If not, he loses a pistol. It, it really is not the end of the world. For EDG, I mean, a flyer mm -hmm. of the start. Five kills on Kon Kon. The rifles on the side of Paper X will be facing off against what was one of the more terrifying buys that EDG pulled out. Once they've got these pistols up against rifles, their win rate has been insane. And some very important rounds as well. Mind Freak stunned up and tucked in the corner. There's no free way for him to get out. I mean, he can use his abilities often, but not this time. There's none online, no shrouded step. And there's a one way that's probably being held. He's <laughs> just, just trapped for now. Oh, Forsaken. They just look to try and actually retreat and get an orb here. One off that dimensional drift. I think that's probably the scariest thing with this Paper X comp is. They've got so much value when it comes to those Ooh. ultimates. It can almost help the individuals on the other side. <laughs> Again, this A take. There is a quick wraparound, though. They've got to be wary of nobody looking to try and come in on the flank. This is a round where, as well, EDG, they can afford to take some risks with the weaponry that they've got. Money yet, though, this might be a nasty surprise, but never mind. Chi Chi's Ooh, found him. The fuck? I don't think they're going to expect nobody in the corner. No, it's half checked as well. This is oh, great I'm going to tell you. Well,我是这，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，这个，哇，
play with his opponents here. Well, pressure's on EDG on the way back through, and it's off EDG just that quickly. Con Con, I don't know where this guy was Whoa. the last two maps, but he certainly turned up today. Three kills wow. already, and well, it doesn't look too good for Paper X. You might think this is an ego, but it's not. The weaker weapon on Forsaken, wow. number two. Maybe more to be found, but nobody low. He's 90 no. HP, fighting another three. Oh, it's, 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 oh, it's Hawaii. Ace up for the good, one low. He doesn't have Ace, he's just 1-5. He doesn't have 他是一抽喂看没有他踢没死完了喂 one of the greatest plays we've ever seen, and no surprise. Pay Paybrex is taking a pause. Uh, Alex has probably got a hole in his desk at this point. Be it in anger or celebration, we know, we know. who knows? And on the other side of things, EDG is just going to be left to stew in that one. A 1v5 ace to get their first round. 1v5 ace. I feel like the only appropriate thing is to replay Brand's desk from earlier. <laughs> just shoot him in the face. Just, just shoot him in the face. <laughs> What a round. I was thinking earlier in the oh round, God, like, it's round. really curious that with a judge, he gave up that control. Because he took screens. Mm -hmm. they, they had a smoke down, he was within it. I was like, oh, he gives up the control. That's really interesting. I don't think anybody saw that one That's coming. That's the thing. Not only a 1v5, a 1v5 ace with a judge, where they're all pushing in to cover that one angle. That's all they were worried about was elbow. They had everything yep. else. I mean, taking your breath Speechless. away. <laughs> That's, this is another level. Seven kills for Forsaken, five of them in the previous round. And as we come into round number five, EDG still lead by two, still have a decent amount of money. There's some weaknesses there, but nobody is showing up. That's something down right away. One of the duelists dealt with. Con Con, you can see he's feeling confident. Yeah, they're, they're right back on the horse. It doesn't look like they've let that get to them whatsoever. Forsaken's been revealed by the Seekers as well. Looking for some more shenanigans, and in the 2v4, they're going to pop the Vipers pit. They need Forsaken to do something, and now Dubai, well, it's not quite five, but he needs to do it all. At least he's got the pit to work with, which back to back, these kind of clutches surely can't be happening. Too many players, too many guns. Too many players, too many guns. If they will fight an EDG, a fourth round of the game, with the working in the early rounds, and Nobody as well. A really impressive resurgence from the previous map. I think his comfort level on Sky is definitely up there. Most of it doesn't seem to be anything to do with the agent itself. And the thing that's worth noting is, I believe Mindfreak was one HP, one hit, or not one exactly, but one hit when uh, when that first pelt <laughs> subsided. Could very well have been the double kill. EDG are getting hyped up, and with a three-round lead, the economy of Paper X completely destroyed. <laughs> There's a good reason for them to be excited. Yeah, they've got one round. It was all forsaken. Other than that, they didn't have any players surviving. And thus, the economy is completely in the bin. You can see just the sheer confidence of nobody on this map. Aggressive angles being taken. TP into the site once more. And after plant will ensue, but they are so happy to play in these retakes. And almost the initial kill. It does you? come in elsewhere. Paper X are always going to want to play aggressive in these positions. One, 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 for this squad, but now the paper X come in with rifles, there's a lot for the side of the to fall back on if they do lose those opening duels. Yeah, I, I think this is the thing now. 
EDG have done amazingly well to not play paper except their own game. They're not giving them those early fights. They're not giving them any battles that don't have the opportunity for a trade. Alec. Some flashes from the likes of Smoggy have been fantastic as well. And paper exits are so wrong. Well, so if at first you don't succeed, so try, 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 and try again. Because they're heading back into this A side once more. Anything on the old side. And it's actually just a judge again. As well. Of course, it's not. Well, it's not the same. It's only going to be oh, used to clear the site. Get this fight. Good timing. Chi Chu is dropping out. The showstoppers are going to be able to get the kill to kill the kill. He's had some impressive rounds of his own. A good shot, but it's traded again from the grave. Kanko takes down Mind Freak. Low HP on Munyet. Needs still to work with. And a good shot for Mind Freak. And a good shot for Mind Freak. One, two, push it on Mind Freak. Oh, come on, things you should need to do. One put on the comma, that's that's not easy. Yeah, I'm not going to push. She don't push at all. Ah, no. Whoa, lucky you. Lucky. Wow, jumping down. This is lucky. Oh, nice one, nice one, nice one. Damage isn't done to EDG's economy at all. It's done to paper exits. They've won a round with zero players surviving. So they're still in, or right in the thick of it. Yeah, it's going to pad the gap a little bit. But if they lose this next round, they're completely in the bin. They are not out of the woods just yet. And if we've seen anything thus far this game, it's that it's been blips for EDG and then an instant resurgence. They've been fantastic in all of those retakes. I think a couple of jewels not going their way. The showstopper as well. Do we finally see a hit towards this B side? Wow, the Mokui on the ground. That information over to nobody, and the cavalry is full sprint. I think after he slowed them down, they've decided to go back. Jungle spam down. Look at that damage. When he gets down to 50 on just a straight spam through those smokes, Mind Freak already dropped. That's a lot lost in terms of. Sight coverage, blocking off angles, paranoia out of the game, and for Paper X with Munyet low, Devai. Oh, Pico, you have to do something, and it's actually something to find that on the Chichu. But when he's dropped, it's Devai alone on the other side of the map. Maybe he had a chance to get something done if they were able to plant that spike, if they were able to keep eyes towards B main. Instead, yeah, this this might even be a good place to stand. I don't know if that exists. <laughs> True. I'll be honest with you. So much utility, though, and they're not in a rush on EDG. That's a big difference. No, it would take equally the amount of hero power, and they're already just watching. They're ready and waiting. Not going to let that happen twice. It's going to be another round for EDG. And as said, it's an instant resurgence once more. Uh, it's an attempted fast-paced play. I think EDG have done fantastically well to not go in for those early fights. They're happy to sit back. They're happy to sit Ooh. in their crossfires. When advantages can't be garnered, it's just not going their way. What stressful? What the fuck? Getting heated like that very often. What stressful is stressful? Well, yeah, I don't know. I think he was angry when they were winning. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? Behind the scenes, he's a pretty chill guy, but I guess you put him on the server. He's always up there with Bob. Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. So what? So what? Team Rex is like, right? Well, the desk's getting hurt. Well, the desk of Alex's desk has his own Twitter account. You know that, right? I don't know how much damage he does to it. Oh, I see. No, I've I've evaded that somehow. Talk to Alex a lot behind the scenes, and that's what same as Barbara, right? They're super chill guys to chill with. And then the game starts. Wouldn't you be like this when watching your team run a triple duelist cop and get the plant down every round? You know what? Probably, probably. It's a very frustrating thing, but when you look at EDG right now, like nobody, I I cannot stress it enough. This guy had two kills last map. I'll say he had some great assists, good recons that won them a bunch of rounds. Like Munyet, I think even popped his ult once, got reconned and taken down. But well, whatever about the Utah, and he's 14 and two. <laughs> like it's just completely shutting them down. How Dong's not being able to get behind them this time. He doesn't no. doesn't bloody need to. It's defense as well. Wait till the attack. And you're seeing the flexibility. Tong Yao, man. Ultimately, they're in the lead. That's a good start, though. Forsaken again. He has been the, well, the real, really the one shining light one that the team's had so far. 
something taking the space to hear a rifle now in his hand and this time they are playing slightly more aggressively they're giving opportunities that might be a mistake ooh, ooh, ooh. Oi! Ha哈哈，我的stallman那个是。哈哈哈哈，我的stallman那个是。哈哈哈哈，我的stallman那个是。哈哈哈哈，我的stallman那个是。哈哈哈哈，我的stallman那个是。哈哈哈哈，我的
get something from it, but a showstopper straight at his feet. The rest of the team looking to go in. That's a, a flash, a blind, completely left in the dark here is how long. Now looks to Ayo, we a quiet start, but the close to the half might be exactly what they need. Mind Freak has made some space, but well, he's well, gonna be quiet from this one. Another one v five needed and it isn't gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a little Showing they can go toe to toe with Paperex, and this might be the best chance they've ever had to beat them. Rip. Absolutely, uh, three times they failed, fourth time lucky by the things we're seeing. You got to remember, Tom, you opened this up by talking about how we started on the better half for both of these teams, and EDG have certainly come out on top, double the rounds of their opponent, and they've already shown us they've got what it takes. The momentum is high on their side, and the hopes even higher for EDG to finally best Paperex on the international stage. Let's toss it over to the desk to get their thoughts only a few rounds away for edg but for paper x they're a team that you simply just can't count out quite yet and that being said though edg mm. okay, really yeah. looking to just close this one here with a decisive finish Kukuka. finally after four times this might be the time that edg is going to close it and the way that they're doing it it has us very surprised can can come in alive there uh in this last map but actually it's the protocols and how well studied they have the map and the effect that Paper Rex composition is going to have onto it, right, Brand? Yeah, they've had some amazing answers, I think, for these big A hits, which is the bread and butter of Paper X when they're running this this comp and this map. Their attack side is what's looked always better. But like you said, it's the protocols. EDG, it's EDG, EDG time, and the flesh. Sure they hold on to ramp control. Nobody being a difference maker here in this particular instance. A bonus round conversion. And then multiple rounds after this. Well, flash on me, the right ideas in mind to either play the full retake, like this, the flash flashbeak coming in, just making sure that they fight for that heaven control while the plan's still going down, so they're making sure they hold on to that crucial positioning. Uh, and even later than that as well, playing for the flood defense, <coughs> playing for the hard anchoring <coughs> positions, they always had the right answer for what was being thrown at them. And um, it, it just shows to me clear preparation, I think. Oh, yeah. understand yeah. what the weaknesses of Cost map were. Yeah. It was one of my concerns, I think, for Paperx. I was constantly talking about how weak their map pool could potentially be, and Split was the one that I was putting a, a focus on it on, because you can't <coughs> just replace the Yoru with a Sky and expect it to work to fruition. It, you're going to have weaknesses in particular in trying to fight like this and, and really just yeah, I think EDG, you can tell from this, they've done their homework. Yeah, exactly. And you need to think about Paper Rex. Now they're going into their defense half, and we need to think that they're coming to this event, the ones with the worst retake percentage. They're not going to be able to do the same as EDG did in this half. Yeah, that is going to be quite scary. I'm going to go Can they find that next gear? I'm going to go on my cup. This is so hard, I'm going to go Thank you so much to our wonderful analyst oh. Esco one last time in this series because oh, we're in the Leo. last half Tom, we've gone the distance and Paper X have now found themselves quite a distance behind their opponents EDG on the attack side with a very quickened pace and the A side is their target it's a joke in Kaikong is sick in Kaikong just a vi holding it he's got a joke in Bang Kaikong or joke in Bang Kaikong joke in Bang Kaikong or joke in Bang Kaikong for the most part they've been good in their pistols <laughs> Go great in the last half, but we'll see if they can get this one over the line. Oh. Ready. Is it all or? Control of the site, and nobody is going to allow any huh? shenanigans. Retail, retail. Is it manager? Is it? Is it? Ayyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
Around the orb. I don't know if he will have realized how far nobody has. Luckily, he has support. I'm also looking at Chichu. Yeah, he has managed to sneak his way. Uh, oh, Tanya, that jet. You'd expect the downside of not playing. Oh, yeah, that jet. The dedicated Sentinel. Bowser. Good jet, Bowser. Like Chichu is going to be cosplaying Haodong with an icy no. kill and a recovered oh. weapon that makes everybody a one hit. This. Oh, no. Uh, he's. Yeah, of course. Don't let them have it in the next. It's costly. Oh, Tanya, that's a lot. What a shame. He could have one hit every single player, Tom. Oh, and they're going to get it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit unlucky, like both players close enough. But for Paper X, that's kind of what you needed. Get yourself some of the weapons. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go sing so you can see it. I'm going to stream it. Uh, I'm have stream no, no, no. Split, no player can play. There are many players who can play. One player can play. Sometimes you just you can't use your own logic because it ain't the same as theirs. Paranoia, nade, and play through them, and yet up close with a bucky. Okay, this is great value for this weapon. A massively strong angle to play around, and one they're not likely to pop a close sky flash on all too often. Hey, 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 yo! B, look, A is. Very much open now, so is middle. How tired, Viper? Something in a very audacious position. I imagine that was with the dash on line forsaken. Is now in a good spot, but he's lost no, his line. No, hold on. No, no, no. This is so good. Q, I wait, not a Kang Kang. Had a rough start to the series, but has come along the perfect time. One, some more, more, more. Dominating, taking over, even with the heels to support him here. Dubai under pressure. And he's gonna go down to the same man as well. This Kang Kang not simple, no way. What hope is there? A save is called as Mun Yet has retrieved the operator. He would very much like to have that expensive weapon in the next round, having invested so much. You see, Forsaken's credits 350, and even that shot from Mun Yet is valuable as you think. Four to go to get him. I think. Four to go to get him. I think. Four to go to get their money. The problem is they know where the op is now. Sure, they might not be back on B site, but they've cast a wide net, and as this round comes to a close, they'll look to close that net and catch him. It looks like they've done it just about enough, and yet he low. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's out. He's out. But he's staying around for the kill. I guess they might have caught him as he moved through spawn, anyways. So it's not that he was guaranteed a free run. But that op is lost. Yeah, and that that is going to put a dent. It's going to be Forsaken who takes it. Can I go risk? Also, go Q away. Fucking no. Take some risks. Play some aggressive angles. Yeah, no. That's definitely not ideal, especially when he has been one of the major players in this game so far for Paperx when they've had success. Monyet showstopper online. Can't can no surprise. His is one of the top players. He's one of the top players. Doesn't seem like there's any real interest in Paper X with those early initial sounds made. They've gone and taken the orb anyway. There was a player close, but he's TP'd out. I think they might even have heard that sound. No one on the A side. Yeah, it's wide open. They're just playing into middle. Yeah, I guess again with some slight vulnerabilities. 我们的 smoke 是会跌下来哈，还是你可以定那种种？你可以放上下也是可以，不过它会慢慢掉下来的。你要放对位置哦，你要放对位置就可以跨在那边。哦，有一些 specific 位置才可以做到吧？ Flash out from Forsaken. He's not going to give it up. This is the right play. He wants to pull the advantage back into their hands. Whoa! 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 Plus Daddy, plus Daddy, Forsaken. Have looked Forsaken, and somehow he's just managing to pull off play after play. 
。他在布莱之前，戴帽人的图。他那个 Sky 的那个 Blind 有点太慢了。我觉得他们逼到很快哦，我觉得。逼那个 Flash 逼到逼到很快。他逼那个 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 Flash 逼到逼到 Nine to seven, double digits on the line, and they have so much control. The ult is going to be used, finding out Chichu. Good flash, but no kill. Four HP left, but it's enough. Hmm, 浪费好地啊。I thought he made it out. They pulled him right back in. Mind freak, one versus five. And if you thought this was the round we were going to look at when barriers went up, don't get your head examined. They've still got no weaponry. They picked one rifle. They managed to get any of the guns. It was just such an absurd round, and the thing is, that is Chichu now realizing how much space he can take. He walked straight into that A site, but I don't even think he broke stride the entirety of the round because of how Payfrex have been playing, and because of that, it ends up being their downfall. EDG consistently spotting the openings of their opponents, and it's been lurks on both of the maps that they've won. Howdong in the last map, and now Chichu doing the same on this one. It's a problem that Payfrex are gonna have when they run these sort of comps. Flawless. They came into this round up against an eco on the side of Payfrex. They had full rifles, and the call in the end is to save before they even find a kill. One rifle that they get out of that situation. Been playing. Utterly ridiculous. That also already done some damage to him, but it was quite low. Too long for you, Payfrex. That is very much what you expect to see. Disappointment and anger. As EDG have stolen this out from under the first three rounds in the lead. I'll be in the red one. Three. Paper X zero and one. You can have a paper X versus three. Wow, Manette doesn't want that. No, no. It's the opening they've been looking for. Both teams have had mass success with the weaker weaponry. Chichu does have a viper spear. They can get him into position. Could be problematic. Something. He's been spotted, but just runs away with the information. You can still see the tiger being thrown out over on the A site. Information being garnered by EDG, and again that walk up. But this time there are players there. Even the TP available on to site for Forsaken if he needs to go back and support. Instead, it's this fight, and again. Something has been having a rough time in individual battles, which is not something I thought I'd say today. Well, even starting out the day, the first two maps, Concon had a pretty tough time in individual battles, but there's no signs remaining of that anymore. Oh, you're out here, please. From EDG, ready to run into a site. It's going to be the rolling. Go there, ha. Contact close. Already is forsaken, and he's caught one, but he won't get out of there. The spray is too good. Quick rotate by Mind Freak, straight into a stun. He's kept back for a moment, and that wall is buying space and time. But as they cross it, they're lower, easier to take down. Oh, oh, catches all three. Paper X is giving this up just yet. The gap is down to two. Yeah, somehow, it's somehow the gap. Oh, you can't my freaking force it gonna kill. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh. It's all my legs. I want to get it. Ah, that's how my legs are playing. Just delay that hot flash aggressive spot. It kept his teammate alive on the site. That surely would have been him going down with the rolling thunder. And I also bought time for Mind Freak to be able to TP to the other side of the map. So impact even without the numbers. Still though, economy on the brink. Aggressive push that has had very little success so far. Well, something's even going to give it up. You can see the respect being given to the side of EDG. Not by Forsaken, that's for sure. He's just swinging out looking for long-range battles. It's a decoy going through, and Chichi's realized, oh, he was screens a second ago. I don't think he's up in heaven. The rotates are coming through, and they'll fight for heaven by the looks of things. I like this wall on a... Oh, no. Oh, I, it looks like I'm incorrect. 
is going to instead be a bit of a poke by Con Con up towards B first, and that is keeping players in position. Mind Freaks pushed up, three players towards B, and it's the fight on Con Con that could decide it for Forsaken. If he loses control there, the panic, and they stay on B, but instead, the rotates are underway. And the A side is now definitely the target. The info is there, but Devai is so desperately low, he won't be able to hold on. And as they rush into the site, Yo. realizes he might have the timing, but Forsaken realized that too. Wow, yeah. Wow, this is the Wiper. Oh, yeah. Every player heals available as well. Nobody won't be able to help himself, but he can help everybody else. Utility wise, not a whole lot to play with, and that's not the start they were looking for. Every member falling Forsaken again is going to have to ace it. For them to take this round, and Aldong is ready and waiting as he looks to wrap back around. S -s -sa -s -sa. 11 to 8. Lead extended once more. And now the problems really are there. Look at the economy for the side of Paper X. Mm. Yeah, this is crushing. Sure. If it was EDG, I'd be expecting sure. us to sure. see 11 to 10 <laughs> on the board, but the thing is, it's not. Paper X. Have struggled on some of the something, oh, oh, something. So they did win one, and it was a Forsaken's double entry with a sheriff. So something we got all. I do feel like right now, even though like Mind Freak is up there, I feel like I'm just like every round. I'm like, okay, can you give me something to play with? Because otherwise, I'm not going to see a way through. And Mind Freak's already dead. That's going to be tough. Smokes down. No paranoia. Although it's often used off early contact. Forsaken is going down. Take a close range fight. No, you too. TP is to be. Oh, yo, then the pick kind of I like that for info, but the info, unfortunately, is that he's <laughs> 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 not being a one. He's got no flashes to play with, so it just has to be a raw skill. And this time, too many targets. Wow. Not going to be able to get anything and just look how far the remaining players are. It, it might even be a scenario of just going down to the spike. The only thing against that is for something. Probably wanting to get that blade storm online. Devai as well. You know, he's about to get the Viper's Pit into play. Could be huge for that defensive side to cut down an angle, especially like A main where they've been so quickly bypassed again and again. You can see he's going up to try and get something. He'll get an orb one way or another. And it looks like it's the other. Yeah, shot in the head. Ayo. Something going up for the same. And it's just a formality at this point. Smoggy's picking them all up. And wall goes down, and here's the push. No kills for something. Blade storm. Viper's Pit have been acquired Ma by Paper X. The cost they paid is that EDG now have four chances to put them zero to one, put them up against possibly an FPX, a loser of the next series, or Loud. Yeah, it's, it's not great options. Even the loser of the next series this seems like a rough one. You can say that Home again. heroes or the America's number one. I, I don't think it's a, a good look either way. It is brutal two losses sending you out and that's the thing even if you win that first one there's still a decider match you're still gonna have to play mm. one of those upper bracket teams for now though a little bit of extra pace thrown in from EDG how you have done it you did it you had getting a chance to close out which guy breaks with three losses Omen Brian I've heard three is the magic number they're looking at four there's a lot of ults online for their opponents right now. That is where Paperx have done their best work. Go go Leo, first of all. First of all, go go Leo. You paranoid, you... You meow, you... You know, bitch, you stack. You say splash. Even towards elbow. It is somewhat of a retake. Fight for heaven, for sure. Paperx want to keep control of that spot. ZDG will be pushing into it. Now, these are big players. Mignette's had a good game, but Forsaken, he rated his team at a 6 out of 10 right now. But he's been 10 out of 10 all damn day long. This map thriving. The challenge is about to come through. The flash has caught him, but he's turned, and it's nice. <laughs> Two quick kills, a decoy in, and a TP out. The advantage is extended even further as Paper X look to put another round on the board by a little more time. Forsaken, another 3K, another big play from this man, and he's waiting for his teammates to round the corner before he takes that fight. Three more chances for EDG before they hit an overtime. Swallows. No, one in the strat back in the day. Played by many a team. What's that? Called avoid CNED. Mm. 
魔岳站死角哦，想跑哦，还没有跑啊，那个死角。Forsaken has been the one thorn in their side. They have looked like the better team throughout this map. A pistol either side. There's no excuses in that regard. Winning hero rounds. Khan Khan back online. Nobody as well. There hasn't been a weak link, but when they run into Forsaken, well, nine times out of ten they lose the round. He is the sole defender of this A site right now, with a little bit of support coming. Showstopper for Khan Khan could put the end to him, but it looks like he just wants to take a firefight. Oh, they've cleared heaven, but look at the space taking by Munyet. It's perfect, but Khan Khan's ahead of him, finding the kill. Forsaken <coughs> flash Lawless. to work with TP towards screens. He's going to try to get the kill. No, in fact, he's not. The flash is just used as he falls further back. And now here comes the big old rocket. Forsaken's dodged it nicely. Spray good. Oh, nice something. something. Shot us. Shot us. It's not caught the players, and the site is under threat. Something maneuvers around. Oh, you take a tail. Eventually he'll fall with Forsaken on another and low HP on Smoggy. The spike on the A site and a very tough one for them to retrieve. They don't know where that second player is, but they found him. It's all on Forsaken. Two kills, but the spike is at his feet. He knows these players have to push him. The utility two flashes will now no long. No. And it's a few bullets in the difference, but that's enough. EDG. Nice try, uh. W gaming will take a loss for the Chinese number one. And what a great start to the tournament has been for the